Hello everyone, it's Matt Miofsky. I'm at our new McCausland site, and I thought really quickly I'd take you on a little tour of where we are so far. It's amazing how much work they've gotten done. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, and if any of you are watching, we're gonna head in the front door of the church. This will be the new lobby, which we really don't have a lobby now. So just check this out. Um, front door, and this is gonna be the huge lobby with awesome light. This will be a little nook. It's a little noisy in here, so you just have to... And then the first big bank of doors to the sanctuary is here. We'll head in here. It might be a little bit dark, but I'm going to flip my camera so you can kind of see everything. So this is our new sanctuary, and I think what people will be pleased about is it will hold a lot more people, 600 people, but it won't feel huge. In fact, the distance to the stage will be about the same as it is at our current McCausland side. It's just about double the width. So you're going to get an experience that's not, it doesn't feel huge, even though it's a lot bigger of a space. But here's the stage. Here, I'm going to get up here so you can see it from my point of view. Get up on the stage, and this is what the sanctuary looks like. So, it'll just be a lot wider. I'll have to turn more when I preach, which I can do. You'll get a sense of that. Now, I'm going to go back out through these other back doors, and that goes back out into that big lobby. So, let's head back there, and I'll show you the kids' ministry space. So, if you have kids, your kids are going to love this because it's going to be so much better than our current McCausland site. Before I get to kids ministry, I should say that this is going to be like kind of coffee central back here. And we actually have, this is going to be a huge uh, door, glass door that opens and we'll have a patio so when the weather is finally nice. We'll be able to go outside on the back here. There'll be a wall to kind of block that view a little bit. We're gonna have like a back patio and a little bit of green space. Um, this is looking at the lobby back toward the front door where we came in. And then this is gonna be the big entrance to the kids' ministry space. So uh, there'll be a big check-in area right here. And then the kids, it's gonna be noisy, so I'm just gonna take you through. It's gonna be so much better back here. If you have really young kids, this is going to be infant, separate space for infant, toddlers, but it's a big space that's connected, but kids will be separated based on age so that toddlers can do what they do best while infants can sleep. In fact, there's a dedicated sleeping space that's quiet back through that big opening so kids who can sleep are there. Um, I should note that on the other side of that wall, there's a kind of a family room for moms who need to nurse or uh, just need a little bit of time away from the bigger spaces. So these big openings are big windows. Well, let's go down and take a look at some of the classrooms so you can get a sense of it. There's gonna be all dedicated kids ministry bathrooms. And then this is a great example of one of the kids. I think this is the fourth and fifth grade room, but every room will have windows, a door, the outside and of course a door from the hallway and so this just gives you a sense of uh, what the rooms are going to look like for our kids which I'm so excited about I mean we say we're a church for new generations and so we wanted to invest in the spaces where our kids are gonna uh, learn about faith and then in here is gonna be a big multi-purpose room kids will probably do some worship in here we may have evening worship or something like that in here other kinds of events and opportunities to learn, but I this is shaping up to be an awesome space as well, where I could see us uh, having classes like Explore, and also even having some evening worship. Again, cool floor to ceiling windows. And I should note that this is, remember cry rooms? You know, that's gonna be like a, uh, like a room where you can watch worship, but again, if you're a mom, you can, or a parent, you can be with your kids if they need to get outside of the space. And then finally, 
it wouldn't be complete without bathrooms. You know, our current cause of the site, we have like no bathrooms. This is some of our team here, by the way. Gathering, you have great people working on your behalf to make sure this space is gonna work for us. But let me take you back here really quickly because, I mean, let's be real. Our current McCausland site has like two bathrooms upstairs and this is where our coffee folks are gonna be able to make all the coffee. But then here are the bathrooms. There'll be a family bathroom, changing tables and everything. There'll be changing tables in the other bathroom. One side, I don't know what, will be men's. I think it's over here. Let's see. Right there. And the other side is it's women's. But, uh, man, we are really excited about the space. I think you all are going to love it. We're going to have an event soon where you get to come in and sort of see it as it's being completed. But for right now, thank you so much for your support. Uh, everything that you do to make this possible. This coming weekend in church, I'm excited. We're going to start a new sermon series, Holy Shift, uh, what to do when everything changes in our life. Uh, because those changes are oftentimes uh, new beginnings for us. And so I'm going to also celebrate Easter. We had record attendance and giving for our literacy project. So we'll celebrate all that this Sunday. But I wanted you guys to get uh, to see the space. So I hope y'all are doing well. Have a great weekend. And please plan to be in church this weekend. It's going to be uh, an awesome beginning of a new season. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.